Hello friends, my name is Deepak Kumar and I am working with Keyframes Animation. Today I am going to show you how to create a terrain by using paint deformation in mental ray in 3ds max. So let's start. Okay, first I create a plane. Control shift and create this. Press F4 for edge mode and press R and scale it. Okay, this is good. Now I increase the segments. Line segment will be 50 and width also 50. So this is good. Scale it. And right now, right click, convert to editable poly and select the vertex here right click click on the paint deformation so this is paint deformation click push and pull ok this is brush size will be in push value will be ok 10 and brush size will be increases this is Okay. Smash the brushes and create a shape. Ctrl Z Ok, now push and pull value if it decreases like minus two and three and Okay, increases the value like this. Okay, this is good. Press W and go to modifier and press T for turbo smooth. F4 Ok I choose the angle This is good angle So control C for fit the camera And shift Press shift F4 Resolution get Ok this is good. Now, uh, first I change the render setup. So, go to below and assign and click on assign render. This is production. Now, default scanner render. So, click here and say mental render. OK. Close it and press M for material editor. Click click here for 
bitmap and take a sand texture so go to my image library reference and check it where my image sand ground okay uh, and this is sand this is sand this is diffuse map and this is bit map uh, sorry bump map so i take diffuse map open by assign and show oh close it press p for perspective check it take this to bad so i modify and click on uvw map box plane go to gizmo and scale it okay the texture is good so press c for camera go to material library uh, sand texture and now go to maps click on bump bitmap and the diffuse map this is bump of the sand so I take it open to back now render it this is fine so I get a background and I get a sky so uh, press it for environment and effect click here and take bitmap go to library and sky Suza sunny sky okay this is good close it press F for front view and create a light so standard light target direct okay check these parameters share on and intensity is okay intensity increases 2.5 and directional parameter increases this is the parameter right now press C and go to render setup and custom output size SDTV and 1280 and render it oh this is very good so nice see here it looks like a realistic terrain realistic sand it's, it's so pretty render is going on
this is so beautiful okay render is complete this is final output and this is very good so i hope you like my tutorial thanks